Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Heather, this is Isaac, and you are watching Fitness Tips here on the Pondepo channel. Today we're gonna to talk about a squat, how to do it properly, how not to do it. This is part one, okay? So first things first, you wanna bring your feet hip to shoulder width apart, so okay. Isaac, go ahead and do that for everybody watching. All right, now you want to imagine that there's a chair behind you, okay. a visible chair, and you want to pretend like you're reaching to sit on the edge of it, all right? So go ahead, bring your hands Ooh. behind the head, this is called a prisoner squat. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we want to bring awareness to our chest not dropping down, okay? So this is easier to do with your hands behind the head. You have more awareness of the form of your body, all right? So go ahead, sit your booty all the way back like you're reaching for that chair, hold it. Now notice how he's doing the best he can to keep his chest away from his knees. Head is neutral to his spine. And now you're gonna use your glutes to push away from the floor and come back up, yes. And go ahead and do that again. When you're going down into your squat, make sure you carry most of your weight into the heel to middle of your foot. So when you're down there, you should be able to wiggle your toes around, okay? Now with a squat, you're working your glutes. You're obviously working your core, right, to secure your balance. And then you're working your quads, your hamstrings, etc. all right? So <laughs> go ahead, face me. Let's get the side view for them. All right, you're gonna get a workout today. Feet are hip to shoulders at the part. Okay. Engage your core, belly button back, glutes are strong. Go ahead, take it down in for your squat. Make sure all of your weights in your heels. Back, yes, there you go, and then take it right on up. Hips are coming slightly forward because of how much he's using his glutes, all right? How do you feel? You feel good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> now, what you don't want to do is come on down for a squat and do it improperly. Let me see, like, everything wrong with a squat going on, okay? okay? Uh, <laughs> all right, so notice how his chest is dropping to his knees. Don't want to do this, all right? Head up, and now go ahead, lift your heels off the floor. Again, improper squat. You never want to do this, ever. It places way too much pressure oh. on your knees. Please don't do that. It just like hurts my knees looking at it. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Please, please, please. If you want to be working out until like you have full gray hair and you're like 80, 90, maybe 100, <laughs> all right? Just don't do those things. We need our knees to be healthy, all right? Okay. So again, engage your core one more time from the side view. Engage your core, belly button back, glutes are strong. Head is neutral to your spine, you're keeping your chest up like you're balancing a book on your head, all the way back into your heels, feet are nice and parallel, and use your booty to press up, all right? That's it for today. Join us in part two, where we're gonna add some variations into the mix to get our heart rate up a little bit more, to develop more strength, and then part three with advanced variations, all right? Until next time, guys, one love.